Beverly Welch at the Arbor Gate in Tomball, Texas. We're here today with our good friend Ann Wheeler of Loghouse Herbs to talk about the struggles and conditions that we need to be mindful of at keeping our herbs and containers beautiful, healthy, and thriving through our warm summer months. Warm is putting it mildly. Yes. yes. We start early when we speak of container herbs and many herbs love containers and do very well in them. And we start early um, with that process by choosing the right pot. Um, a, a large pot is your best idea because it can um, hold enough soil to keep those roots happy uh, and growing throughout the summer when herb can be the most productive for you. Think basil and how often you'd like to harvest those leaves. So we can start off with a large pot. I like to start off by putting one of these better than rocks right. down in the bottom to ensure that the drainage hole doesn't get jammed up with uh, potting soil. Right. I, I, I think those are life Well, savers. and with our unpredictable rainfall, yes. you need to make sure that your pot's draining well. From the very beginning. From the very beginning. It isn't something that you can fix later. No, When no. you find out that your plants are dying from, from too much water. But if we start out this way, and we use Arborgate Complete Soil in there, any of these herbs that you might want to plant then have a, a, a very good start. And also, as you go, building your pot up using Arborgate Blend as a fertilizer that really the plant's roots can reach no matter which direction they go or how deep they may go for water. And it's very important on your potting soil that you get a potting soil. Yes. That you don't get these soil blends that are soil less. Yes. Especially on the Gulf Coast with our, again, extremes in weather. Yes. The peat, peat moss based soils are very inadequate mm -hmm. given our climate. Yes, they are. It, it's, it's nice to feel that they're not, that you're not over watering, but those things with um, fast drying mosses and so forth in them just aren't for us. You'd have to sit out there in your lawn chair by the pot all day long sprinkling garden from time to time. <laughs> well, and, it, it, and it's important too, like Arbor Gay Soil Complete, that you use an organic base yes. on anything that you grow to yes. eat. Yes, absolutely. We're, we're thinking at this point in, in terms of how to set that herb in that pot Long early time. on so that you can get ahead of the symptoms of problems that you might see later on. What we want to do is build an environment that prevents problems like fungal diseases and uh, a lack of nutrition and insects from coming along later and surprising you. And then at that point you're saying, what do I do about this bug? And you could have prevented it had you started with a blank slate. And so, now we also set, it, set this pot up on these little feet. Drainage, drainage, drainage. And it, it's, so, um, it's so front of uh, mind to me, forefront of my mind all the time, sometimes with herbs, I forget to even mention it. But all the herbs that we grow, all of them, need excellent drainage. Remember, their homeland is the Mediterranean coast. Yes. Not the Gulf Coast yes. of, the, <laughs> of the American South. And so what we really want to do is to a de the degree possible, we want to mimic that. Right. So drainage, drainage, drainage. The pot feet help with that. The, the better, than uh, rocks. better than rocks in the bottom help with that. And the well-draining soil. And the well-draining soil help with that. And also the things like the organic fertilizers that you may use during the season as you wish, um, they all contribute to to soil health, right. which is key to plant health. Let's talk for a minute about watering through the sure, summer. Sure. Ideally, your pots won't dry out and need watering more than once a day. But I don't find that I can skip a day when I'm growing my herbs in pots. Mm -hmm. um, I, I wish there were a way to sugarcoat that message, but that's just the reality of it. What we can perhaps do is avoid that second watering yes, yes. <laughs> later on in the day. But let's keep things properly maintained and clipped and by all means used yes. for the kitchen. Keep them in shape, keep them from becoming overgrown. Get the right kind of clippers. Um, there are two kinds of 
Uh, there are three kinds of watering devices that I like. One is this little tiny mister that you can use when the plants are very young. Perhaps you just yes. put them in there and you don't want to soak the soil too much because it's hard for their number of roots to uptake all that water. Right. It's one of the greatest problems we found in the greenhouse mm -hmm. was when the plugs were young, they couldn't take up they all the water. Take up the water. So this is your answer to that. Next. You can hand water pots with this, and that means that you can very much control how much water they get. Excellent for the young plants as well. Finally, this is your go-to, all-purpose tool for watering your, your plants in pots. Don't set your pots in, within the sprinkling system of the yeah. lawn. And don't count on those self-watering tubes either. Right. This, you need to be there looking at it, feeling the soil, um, taking care, and we, we miss mulch. We've got to talk about mulch. Okay. But anyway, the, the, the water that you apply based on what you're observing is going to be the right water rather than something right. that comes on at a certain time of the day. Right. So let's go back to mulch right quick. Well, and what mulch is very important in controlling the moisture in the soil. Yes, and it helps to maintain the moisture in a really, really healthy way because good mulch also allows for rainfall and unwanted excesses of water to go on right. into the soil, go through. We've talked about several kinds of mulches that, that yes, we, have. we might use and, and many of them we've We've all used We've all it tried. various times. We've tried pine needles. We like pine needles. We like organic material yes. of any sort, ground up uh, stumps if you happen to have a piece of land cleared. Um, we Native need, mulch, native uh, ground mulch. Native mulch, pine cones. Pine cones. You can spread those around the that top. That keeps the squirrels keeps away. Keeps the squirrels <laughs> away and is something of concern yes. to all of us pot gardeners. And then finally, and, and, and we have uh, been introduced to the use of gravel mulches by Madeline Hill, focusing first on lavenders. They absolutely require a good, generous layer of gravel mulch. Right. But that isn't to say that that isn't useful for all of your herbs. It works equally well for all of them. Have to have it for this, good to use for the others. And the other thing that we were talking about this morning, to, to my great interest, was the use of expanded shale as a mulch. It's sold by the bag here at the Arbor Gate. You yes. use it to improve the drainage of your soil. And it's, it's a, in Arbor Gate Soil Complete. It's in Arbor Gate Soil Complete already. And a couple of inches of that, one to two inches of expanded shale in, the, in a big pot like this, could be just the greatest thing since sliced bread. It could do it. It really could. So and to to recap, drainage, it, proper pot, pot selection, proper soil selection, excellent drainage, drainage. good watering techniques. Water the soil, yes. not the plant, not the foliage. Exactly. Water the soil, and we mulch, preferably with a gravel product yes. like expanded shale or you can you use materials pea, that you have on hand. Pea gravel, we, we scraped up the li little bitty limestone rock of our closed greenhouses uh -huh. to use as, listen, reuse, repurpose. That's right. So, great tips. We'll keep our herbs growing healthy. And, and, and let's not forget to refer people to Angela's um, organic, organic at fire, ant fire control, ant control on the blog if you do have problems because with the wet season we will get ants in the containers. They they absolutely they can climb up these little feet with no problem. Yes. <laughs> well thank you Ann. It's been my pleasure. And I'm looking forward to a warm sunny summer. And and myself. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>